I was married. It was my husband. We had a very turbulent relationship. I have five children by him. The first time he became violent was when I was pregnant for my first, my first child. But I, I thought that things would change. Yeah, it was psychological, it was physical, it was sexual, it was all of those things. I mean, you could always tell just by the look in his face. I had become a mom, I had become a punching bag. I had become something for everybody, but I didn't have an identity anymore. He pushed my head through the wall. I, I just couldn't do it anymore, so I left. He found out where I was living, broke into my house, and I had, I had purchased a handgun to protect myself, but I didn't know how to use it. Anyway, he found the gun, got me down on the bed, straddled me, had the gun in my mouth, and was going to pull the trigger. And um, my roommate, the front door you know, opened, and she came in about that time, so he jumped off and, and left. I can't explain why I went back as many times as I did. I really don't have an explanation to that. What actually caused me to not go back was the very last time I was assaulted by him. My middle daughter walked in on the situation and saw it and went to school that day. So the teacher called and reported it to the police. The police showed up at my office, said, I need to see if you've got bruises on you. And I did. I had a cracked rib. I was put in the hospital. The woman who, you know, the intake that I had to go through, she was a survivor. And so she knew what I was going through and she really knew the answer. She knew the, the questions to ask me and she knew how I felt. The interesting part to me was that I never really knew that there was anybody out there that was like me. So I think as I became a woman, I didn't know that I was allowed to speak up for myself. I didn't know that it was okay for me to speak. It's not easy. It's not impossible. You just have to trust that people are gonna be there to help you. I just felt like I could breathe all of a sudden just felt like there was like this weight that was lifted off of me and I wasn't afraid of him anymore. I think it's when it's kept quiet and when it's kept hidden is when it, it gets power. Not even just looking at the statistics, but I think every person knows somebody who has either been affected by domestic violence or is experiencing it themselves. Take a moment, if we see something that doesn't seem right, if you see somebody who is depressed or somebody who is bruised, whatever, take a moment and, and care. Even if it puts you in a position that you're feeling uncomfortable, we need compassion. We need to be compassionate to one another. It takes somebody to have to be brave enough to speak up, like the teacher or whoever it was that, that called the police for me. That person was brave. That person saved my life.